All right, here we have our bacon, onion, carrots, celery, potatoes, chicken stock, corn, fish. We have our spices, salt, pepper, bay leaves, onion salt, and garlic powder. Here for our roux, we have the butter, flour, the light cream. And to top it off at the end, we have the parsley and the paprika. Bacon is frying. Okay, the vegetables are softened up. We're going to transfer everything over to a larger pot because this is uh, double the quantity, so we're going to need more room. Okay, we're going to start putting the rest of the ingredients in now. There goes the bacon. Bacon makes everything taste good. Here comes the potatoes. balance of the chicken stock. Half of it was already in there. Here goes the prime ingredient. Fish is going in. You can substitute or add shrimp clams, other seafood. Uh, you don't have to use the blackfish, but that's what this chowder is about. There go the spices and bay leaves. And finally the corn. I add more corn than it calls for because I like corn. Everything gets mixed well. And we'll let it cook for a while. Okay, butter is melted. Add the flour making the roux here while the main body is cooking up. 
this is going to take a few minutes. We'll be back in a little while. Okay, a couple minutes later, we've thickened up, getting ready to add the cream. And this is going to simmer until this thickens up. <clears throat> and now, through the miracle of time, 25 minutes have passed. The roux is getting thick. The chowder base is cooking up. There's a nice thick consistency. And in we go. Mmm, that smells good. When that gets mixed up, it's going to simmer for a little while longer. Okay, after simmering for 20 minutes, it's now done. Ready for the final test. Okay, now we get to eat it. Um, one other thing, you can make this without any fish in it. Just have corn in there, it'll be corn chowder, which is also pretty good. But we get to eat it now. And you can see, I'm going to put the, uh, the recipe in the comment section below, in the description of the video, you get the whole recipe for this. Mm. This is just so good. We always make a double batch, which is what we did here, because when the family comes over, this just gets eaten all the way. Enjoy.